Hey guys, so welcome back. Today we are going to talk about cham, which is the consonant. Um, last time we talked about moms, the what, two different times, the first two lessons. Um, and then today, once you learn the vowels, since the vowels can stand by themselves in like any part of the word, but consonants need a vowel for it, usually you learn the vowels first and then consonants later. The consonants, I want to say, would be the kind of harder part for making the sounds for pronunciation because they they sound like two different things sometimes um so if we just look at it first we have something like this right and then the first one would be like what they used to say if i'm correct was the kiak but um our teacher didn't even teach us the way that you say them like that like nian dia and stuff like that the only thing she just said is just how to pronounce it. So like this one, this can be either like a K or a G type of sound, the first one. But she just pronounced it as like a kind of G. So she just said G, 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 G. But um, what's funny is that when we listen to like the playback, because this comes with the CD, the guy sound sounds more like a K, but she sounds more like a G. And then she she was talking about how his um his what the way he says it is a lot rougher. So it's just like so some people more kind of sound like a K, but some people more sound like a G when they say it. But the crazy part about it is like when you're actually doing like an uh what putting a sentence together or putting words together, you don't really worry about it too much because depending on a placement and where it falls in a word it has a, it is going to have that specific k or that specific g sound so it's <laughs> it's a lot really um trying to learn their um, pronunciations because when i first started i was like so is that like a k or a g but then they were like it's both and i'm like oh. <laughs> but um she just taught it to us like as in g as a g sound n N as an N sound, and then this one as a D, D, but this also has like a T sound to it, so it's N, what, this one would be like D or T, this is just N, so that's the best one. We have K and G, then we have R, R, which is like an R sound. Um, if you're used to Japanese, where the R sound is like your tongue going to the top of your mouth, like L, La, la. Like in English we use it to make the L, but in um, Japanese they use it to make the R sound, which we don't, we just say R, R. But if you just go la, la, that be how you do the R sound for um, Japanese and Korean. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's also why I want to say a lot of Japanese and Korean people can't really get the L sound a lot because they're they're usually using the r sound for the r but we use that for the l so usually it takes them some time to get the pronunciation down for that but that could be why or actually that is why and then the last one would be the m that's just the m it looks like a square it's not really a circle but um depending on how some people write this it does look like this circle and you're like wait what but um yes it's an actual box square and that's m and then pretty much you just write it a few times so we have k n d d m and then you write it a couple of times and then that'll get you to at least know how to write them by themselves. But then, like I said, you have to put together with a vowel. So yeah, that is pretty much how you do that part. So the first one would be the G. It's just one straight line, pretty much. You just go to a half point and then just go down. G. Then the next one is a N. Same thing, but the opposite down and then to the right. N. The D, you do the top first and then the bottom. So line from left to right and then the N. 
Then we have the R, which is pretty funny because this is also from Japanese and Korean. I mean, Japanese and Chinese for sure, this one. This part, so I already knew how to write, well, all of these pretty much. Um, but the first part is basically like a K. Then we just have a straight line from left to right, then the N. So it's like left, right, down, left to right, and then down to right. Then we have the M, which it's you you don't just make a square. <laughs> you go from up to down, then you do the G, then finish it off on the bottom, and that'd be your box shape. And that's it. That's your first chom, your first consonants, and that'd be how you write it. Okay, and then for our second part of our choms, we have four more. Four left, so we have B, S, Ng, J. The first one is like a B slash P, so like B or P. This is just an S sound, S. This is an Ng sound, Ng. It's like NG pretty much put together. And then this one would be like J, J, or maybe like a CH2, Ch. <laughs> so yeah, we have two that have like two different sound effects and then these two just have one. So going over the first one, the first one would be B, 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 so a B sound. Same thing, this this is the same thing as when she said for the first one that um, the guy was a little bit more harsh, but I feel like people say it differently, or maybe it could be a boy's say differently than a girl's, because she was like, oh, it's kind of rough, you know, and it sounds more like this, like a bu, but that was the actual CD that comes with this, so it's just like, huh? Um, but bu, the next one be s, then we have ng, ng, and then j. And then same thing. You just write it a few times by itself. So that's exactly what I did beforehand. I would just say like, buh, 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 buh. And then write suh, 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 suh. Then ng, ng, ng. And if you do that a few times, I feel like over time you'll get it. But, um, I, I always wrote them with an actual vowel to it because especially like these, the consonants, they're never written by themselves anyway. So when I wrote them, I wrote them with the actual vowel. I'll show you how to write the consonants by itself first and then I'll show you how I actually wrote them, which is on the next page, I think anyway. Yeah, that's then they just put them together because that's usually how they're supposed to be written anyway. So first we have the B, which is like two L's and then two from the middle. Like I said, you go from top to bottom, left to right. So since this comes first, you go up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. And that's your B. After that, then you have the S, which is just, just like that, like a slanted L from top to bottom, and then connected at the middle going down. The ng is written counterclockwise. So, ng. Ng, counterclockwise. And then your j, left to right, down, and then from the middle down. That'd be your J. And that is it. That'd be all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of your basic consonants. After that, you pretty much just have to make the chart like I was saying. So you would fill out the chart. You would put like the consonants on the bottom. Then you have your vowels on the top. 
and then you just write them together <laughs> and then you have like a big list of your basic sounds yeah let's it's gonna take a while but we can go through all of them at least one time so for this you would make like I said a chart hmm we can do like the first one maybe here uh uh oh ooh uh e e we we if you notice, they left out the other eh. <laughs> um, I think the book left it out because it it doesn't, it wouldn't fit too well in the chart. And then it also has the same eh sound as this. So then you could just make like a line right here. And then we can go down with the g, n, d. The M B S N J and then complete your box. Now we have to put it together. Ka Ka. Ko, ku, k, ki. If you notice when I write the K sound, when it's on the left side, it's actually curved. It's not just straight down. It curves when it's next to the actual vowel, but only if it's on the left side. If you notice when it's just on the top, right here, it's just a regular, um, basic k sound, uh, k writing, it's not curved. Then we have k, que, and qui. So it's just a combination. N, a, na, na, no, 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 ni, ne, no, eh, no, e. Da. Da. Do. Do. D. 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 Ra, ra, ro, ru, r, ri, re, re. This one is I, I feel like it's a little harder because it's a combination of like the R and way so R and way re 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 
and um, I don't I don't know I've never I don't think I've ever used it in a word before in Korean yet but um, our teacher was trying to just make sure that we knew that it was like re and way together so you just kind of mash it together mash it together re 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 and then this one is a little bit easier I think re 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 but um this one is a little bit harder but for the r sounds because i don't know i guess it doesn't really match up too well because it's like not something that you're used to but a lot of people in the class um took some time to learn it and she actually went through each person to make sure that they learned it then we have ma ma mo mu M, me, me, we, we, ba, ba, bo, bu, ba. B B Oops Boy Boy Um if you notice that like the the actual vowel is a lot longer than the consonant even though I'm writing it very small I'll probably should <laughs> write it a little bit bigger but always I've always written pretty small but yeah that's why here I was like, oops, because it should be a little bit bigger than um, the left part. Sa. Sa. So. Su. So. That goes the same for like the actual line from left to right. It should be bigger than what's on top of it. Su. So. She. This is the only one when it's combined with the I form, it actually makes like a she instead of like C. Um, but I don't know, it could be a pronunciation because I learned it as she, and then my teacher was saying she, but um, some people couldn't pronounce it, so she said kind of like a C, but yeah, she, se. Sue. Sui. Then this is your basic forms, as you already know. A. Uh, a. Uh, o. U. E. 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 We. We. Ja, ja, jo, ju, j, g, j, 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 And you're finished. <laughs> um, if I went too quickly through this, um, let me know. I'll try to slow it down. Um, the sounds next time. I didn't want them to make the videos too long. Uh, <laughs> I wanted them to be kind of like more bite sized, I guess, unless it had to be really long. But um, yeah, if you guys want me to slow down more, or if you would like me to. I don't know, just redo just this part by itself, but a lot slower. Just let me know in the comments and then I'll just redo this little part just so you have the writing and the sounds down. And that could be like its own own video, I guess, or a combination of this one and maybe the next one because the next one has the harder sounding consonants. And then just like the, all the other ones, you have some basic words. We have Namu, 
tree, Paji, pants. Then we have Kage, store, Moja, hat, Sagwa, apple, Ouija, 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 chair, Tarimi, iron, radio, 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 radio. And then you can also write those words a few times so you can practice writing in word forms. Maybe that'd be pretty helpful too, to see them combined and put together. The last part would be just a test. So um, here they have eight different ones. So what I'll do is I'll just say eight different what characters and then you could just write it down and then I'll just put the answers in the answer room box well in the description box below the first one I feel like sh should I be saying these in a Korean then um like Ilbon <laughs> the first one Ilbon would be Ta Ta Ebon would be me me and then sambon would be go go sabon would be Ju, Ju, Obon would be Jo, Jo, Yukbon would be D, D, Chilbon would be Ba, ba, palbon would be three, three, and that's it. We are finished. See you guys next time. Bye. You're still here. Thanks for watching the video until the end. Please don't forget to check out the description box below for info on my friends that were in the video. Hi! <laughs> product links, my other social media platforms, and my new product designer. If you guys love the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment because I really love reading and writing back to comments that fans leave. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.